This video will help you all to understand this new global rule that is FISMA which creates new requirements for certain US domestic and foreign food facilities. If you are in especially US or outside US and working in a food industry and exporting or working on the export of your product in US then this video is related to you. In this video we are going to talk about FISMA standard and the new concept of HARPC introduced by FISMA which is similar to HESA but a new FDA based concept. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to QA Learning Hub where you find interesting and easy to understand videos on industrial quality assurance. FISMA, a US standard, stands for Food Safety Modernization Act, is a new food safety legislation, a new food safety regulation which comes under FDA. FDA is a Food and Drug Administration, a US agency within the Department of Health and Human Services. It is a US legislative and law enforcement body for food safety and have other authorities and scope of work as well. But in short, FDA is a US food regulatory body and this act, this new act is the addition of new rules in already existing food law. That is why it is called Modernization Act. The Food Safety Modernization Act FSMA was signed into law by ex-president Obama on January 4, 2011. This FISMA Act has given the FDA new authorities to regulate the way foods are grown, harvested and processed. The law grants the FDA a number of new powers. It is considered the first major piece of federal legislation addressing the food safety since 1938. And as I said earlier, FISMA has given new requirements for certain US domestic and foreign food facilities. So FISMA introduced seven rules and each rule is specific for different segments of food supply chain from farm to four. These seven rules are preventive control rules for human and animal food, produce safety rule, foreign supplier verification means FSVP rule, accredited third party certification rule, sanitary transportation rule, intentional adulteration rule and the seventh one is complying with FISMA rule. So we are not going into the details of other six rules applied to different scopes. Food industries need to work on rule number one, that is preventive control rule for human food. This rule comes in FDA Code of Federal Regulation 21 Part 117 and this rule has seven subparts. And important to industries for compliance are GMPs and HARPC. HARPC stands for Hazard Analysis Risk Based Preventive Controls and HARPC replaces the traditional HACCP system. Let's discuss the difference between HACCP and HARPC. HACCP is mandated by Cortex Elementarius and HARPC is recognized by FDA. HACCP is managed by multidisciplinary food team whereas HARPC is controlled by trained PCQI. PCQI stands for Preventive Control Quality Individual and there is a method for becoming a trained PCQI. HACCP considers conventional physical, chemical and microbial hazards for hazard assessment. Whereas HARPC consider all type of other hazards as well, example radiological, allergen, food defense, food fraud, etc. HACCP risk assessment identifies CCPs in the process and talks about their controls. Whereas HARPC asks to apply the risk based approach and identify preventive controls, which mainly includes process control. We can add CCPs here in process control. Number two is sanitation control. Number three is allergen control and number four is supply chain control. Other preventive controls can also be determined and added based on hazard analysis. Number five, there are two controls in HACCP. One is GMPs and number two is CCPs. Whereas in HARPC, we have GMPs, preventive controls and CCPs, which comes under process control as well. Number six, there are critical limits for CCPs. But in HARPC, there is no requirement for critical limit for preventive controls. Limits to be set where risk assessment determined it is required. But they state that not all preventive controls would require critical limits. Hope it gives you some clarification about FISMA standard. Please like this video, give your comment and share this video.